Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. At the beginning of Parsha's Kisisa, Hashem commands Moshe to construct the Kiar, which is a special washstand for the Kohanim in the Mishkan that was made from mirrors that the women donated. Today we are going to decorate our very own mirrors. Here are the supplies that we will need. Three different colors of pink, here we have purple, pink and gold, Q-tips, 14 craft feathers, tacky glue, Mod Podge, a small round mirror, scissors, a sponge, one large paintbrush, two small paintbrushes, and you will also need some parchment paper or another surface to paint upon. Let's begin. Divide the feathers in half, seven in one pile and seven in the other. Set one pile aside. Use the large paintbrush to paint the first pile of feathers pink or whichever color you chose. Hold the tip of the feather, also called the calamus or the quill of the feather, to get a grip so that you can use the other hand to paint it. We just need a thin layer of paint, not a lot to color each feather. Do this for each feather in the first pile. Meanwhile, imagine you are a prince or princess and you adore your father the king. You want to present him with a gift to show your love, but finding a gift is harder than expected. As you search each store, nothing seems precious enough to give him, since after all, as the king, he already has it all. Let the feathers dry. Next, create a gold dot design on each feather using a Q-tip. Dip a Q-tip in the gold paint and dot each feather. Place fewer dots at the pointy end of the feather and increase the amount of dots as you get to the rounder end of the feather. Alternatively, you can create a design of your own. Back to our imaginary story. After much thought, you come up with an idea of a gift that would mean so much to him. As you grow older, your father wishes you would wear your royal clothing and do official royal duties. It may be your inclination to run free and do as you wish, but for this gift you decide you will begin to act in a way that your father so desires. Next paint the second pile of feathers purple or another color of your choice. Use the same technique we used for painting the pink ones. Finally, you set up a special meeting and present your father with your unique gift. This gift is very special to the king, as someone who not only has everything he could ever want, but also the power to get anything he doesn't yet have, the gift of yourself is the most precious of all. Once they are dry, decorate each feather with the same gold dot design that we used for the pink feathers, unless of course you'd like to get creative and come up with something different. This whole imaginary story may have happened with a physical king in some place at some time, but it also is a muscle for the relationship between us and Hashem. Hashem is the king of the entire world. Everything was created by and therefore belongs to him. So what kind of gift can we possibly give him? The one thing he left in our hands is free choice. The choice to decide how we will act and if we will follow what he wants of us. And with this we can give him what he doesn't yet have. Once the feathers are dry, cut off the fuzzy parts that are near the bottom of the quilt. Think about what length you want the feathers to be and cut off the fuzz from the place that you plan to cut it off. Do you want the feathers to stick out from the mirror very much, in which case you would leave them as they are? Or do you prefer that they fan out a little less, in which case you would cut them shorter? Okie dokie, ready to glue the feathers onto the mirror? Let's do it! Flip over the mirror and lay the first feather down so that you can see how long you want it to be. Cut it to the desired length. Then use one of the small paintbrushes to paint tacky glue onto the end of one of the feathers. You may need to also apply some glue to the mirror itself so that the feathers will stick properly. Do the same for all the feathers, making sure that they are lying face down so that the gold design faces the right way. If you want them to be in a pattern of purple, pink, purple, and pink, you may want to first glue all the purple feathers, leaving a space between each one for a pink feather. This way you'll be ensuring that the feathers will be more or less the same distance apart. Of course you can also choose to glue them on in a different pattern or order. In this week's Parsha, the women stepped forward and volunteered to donate their beautiful copper mirrors to the Mishkan objects they used every day. They chose to give up something so personal and donate it for Hashem's home. This was so special to Hashem that he told Moshe to use these mirrors for making the kiar. We can do the same. By choosing to go the extra mile for Hashem or a fellow Jew, we are giving Hashem the greatest gift of all. We may not have a physical mishkan that we can donate towards, but we can nevertheless donate a piece of ourselves to Hashem by doing a kindness or a mitzvah beyond what we would normally do. Once all of the feathers are glued on, we want to be sure that they don't fall off. This is where our handy Mod Podge comes in. Using the sponge, dab the back of the mirror and the back of the feathers with a layer of Mod Podge. Let it dry completely, then enjoy your mirror. We'll see you next week. No pun intended.